You're, uh, of course, invested in agriculture in Latin America, and one of the things that we've been trying to figure out is, for example, you know, do you ever worry about climate change? This is agriculture is something that we need for food security, but it's also labor intensive, and you don't actually have control of the weather. Yeah, we, we see it in the data that the predictability of weather patterns applying to agriculture has been really broken. And, uh, and actually, these uh, outstandingly good harvests uh, over the last two, three years are not normal. So what's going to happen when it goes the other way and it's going to happen relatively quickly because of these weather patterns? So I think agriculture is positioning itself for probably quite a big crisis in the, in the short term. And, and that's going to be good for prices uh, coming back up, for trading profits, as it's been almost too quiet in terms of volatility. So agriculture is a sector we are watching that has been distressed, more than five years of declining agriculture prices, but could be really poised for a, a great turnaround. You know, I, I look at the commodity index and it's barely nudged up when you look at the scale of years and even uh, decades. Can you call bottom one in, in, in currencies? Can you call bottom in commodities rather? I misspoke. I, uh, I mean, I, for sure, we, we, saw it, we saw the bottom in the oil, we saw the bottom in mining, we see uh, uh, on the agriculture side dragging around the bottom. I have no doubt we've seen the, the lower prices. And also looking at the fact that, for example, on soybeans, we are hitting a prices where 60, 70 percent of the world production without subsidies is not economical at these prices. So that's really not sustainable, and, and we really anticipate commodities from start running up from definitely we've seen the worst <coughs> prices uh, in the in a long term i think